Welcome to Ash Wednesday. Please join me in the call to worship. God sent Christ into the world, not to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. God's love endures forever. God is our refuge and our strength, a present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Though the earth should change, though the mountains shake at the heart of the sea, though the waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with a tumult, God's love endures forever. Please join your heart with mine in prayer. Almighty God, you despise nothing you have made. And you forgive the sins of all who are penitent. Create in us new and contrite hearts that truly represent, that truly repenting of our sins and acknowledging our brokenness, we may obtain from you, the God of all mercy, full pardon and forgiveness through your son, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our prayer for illumination. God, our helper, by your Holy Spirit, open our minds, that as the scriptures are read, we may be led into your truth and be taught your will for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. From the Old Testament. From the second chapter of Joel. Blow the trumpet in Zion. Sound the alarm on my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. For the day of the Lord is coming. It is near a day of darkness and gloom, a day of clouds and thick darkness, like blackness spread upon the mountains, a great and powerful army comes. Their like has never been from of old, nor will be again after them in ages to come. Yet even now, says the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning. Rend your hearts and not your clothing. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and relents from punishing. Who knows whether he will not turn and relent and leave a blessing behind him, a grain offering and a drink offering for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast, Call a solemn assembly, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the aged, gather the children, even infants at the breast. Let the bridegroom leave his room and the bride her canopy. Between the vestibule and the altar, let the priests and the ministers of the Lord weep. Let them say, spare your people, O Lord, and do not make your heritage a mockery a byword among the nations. Why should it be said among the people, where is your God? And from the Gospel of Matthew, from the sixth chapter, beware of practicing your piety before others in order to be seen by them, for then you have no reward from your Father in heaven. So whenever you give alms, do not sound the trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets so that they may be praised by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing so that your alms may be done in secret and your father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and in the street corners so that they may be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But whenever you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your father who is in secret. 
and your father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you fast, do not look dismal like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces so as to show others that they are fasting. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face so that your fasting may be seen not by others, but by your father who is in secret. And your father who sees in secret will reward you. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust consume and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust consume and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Friends, this is the word of our Lord. Thanks be to God. Friends, in Christ, every year at this time, we celebrate our redemption through the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And Lent is that time to prepare for this celebration and to renew our life in the Paschal mystery. And so we begin this holy season by acknowledging our need for repentance and for acknowledging the mystery and the mercy and the forgiveness that is proclaimed in the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so we start our journey towards Easter with signs of ashes. And this ancient sign speaks of the frailty and the uncertainty of human life. And it was marked with the repentance of our community. We're going to begin with a labyrinth. And some of you may be thinking, what is a labyrinth? And a labyrinth is an ancient tool for prayer and for meditation. And it is consisting of a winding path that begins in kind of the outside and le leads you into a center space and then allows you to go back out again to that same place. It is a path and it's different than a maze because a maze often has blind alleys or dead ends, but a labyrinth will just have sometimes twists and turns, there is only one way. We are reminded that life will have twists and turns and sometimes we'll have a new directions, but there's one way that we get into God and one way when we're there and one way back out. And so the labyrinth is kind of a metaphor for our spiritual journey. And so I invite you to take the time to pray to stop the busyness of the noise all around you and to, um, to pray. For me, I'm just gonna use my little Sharpie 
And uh, I'm gonna start on my labyrinth here at the, at the entrance. And uh, I'm gonna pray as I go in. And then I'm gonna sit in the center. Um, I usually walk these and so I usually do sit in the center, but I'll work my way into the center and I'm gonna make a cross and then I will work my way back out again. I'm gonna try to put my labyrinth in a spot where you can see it. Um, so that this is a way that we can uh, be reminded of our connection to our Lord. I'm gonna encourage you that you can uh, reflect on the words that uh, were in scripture. You can reflect on the words that were um, in your bulletin, the prepare, the reconcile, the repent, any of those words are fine. Or maybe there's something going on in your life right now that you feel like you need to um, be thinking about and praying about. And if that's on your heart, have that be what it is. Um, so let us turn to God in a time of prayer as we do our labyrinth.
I just prefer my finger. You can use your wand, you can use a Q-tip, whatever works. But let's pray. Almighty God, you have created us out of the dust of the earth. May these ashes be for us a sign of our mortality and penitence and a reminder that only by your gracious gift are we given everlasting life through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Remember that you are dust. And to dust you shall return. May the God of peace make you holy in every way and keep your whole being, spirit, soul, and body free from every fault at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessings to you today and every day. Amen.